Good morning, children. In the last session, we have completed the momentum. All the details about momentum. Momentum, its definition, formula, units, and the graphical representation of the variation of momentum with the velocity, with the mass. These things were discussed. Now, we move on to the next part. That is Newton's second law of motion. After the completion of Newton's first law of motion, that quantity, the momentum, which was discussed, because that is very important for the second law of motion. Now we start the Newton's second law of motion. What the Newton's second law of motion tells about Newton's second law of motion. <coughs> the Newton's first law of motion, it tells about the force, it defines the force. This also tells something about the force. From the Newton's second law of motion, we are going to get how to measure the force. How to measure the force required to move an object. Suppose, this is a horizontal surface. Anything is placed on this surface. This object has mass m. Its mass is m. Now it is placed at rest on the horizontal surface. To move the object, the force is required that we discussed in the Newton's first law of motion. The second law of motion tells that how much force is required. That is given by this law, Newton's second law of motion. Okay, now come to that force. Here, we assumed the object is at rest. By some external source by some external agent let the object moves along the surface along the horizontal surface it comes in motion and also we consider that object is moving with some velocity it is moving along this particular direction and with some velocity that is u it is its velocity at this moment. So when anything is in motion, definitely it will have the momentum. So in this situation also, here the object is moving with the velocity u. In this situation also, it has some momentum. That momentum we can consider it is the initial momentum. It is initial momentum. So let us consider that initial momentum is p1 is equal to m u. This is the initial momentum of the object. With this momentum, the object is moving along the horizontal surface, horizontal road in that particular direction. If, if any external agent is not applying a force, if nothing is applied, the object is in motion. Because we already considered it comes in motion by some source. After that, it is moving with the velocity. If a force is not applied, if any external unbalanced force is not applied on this object, then what will happen? If no other external force, not only this force, if nothing, no external from any direction, nothing is applied on this object, from the Newton's first law, it will move continuously with the same velocity. With the same velocity, the velocity remains constant. It will move uniformly in the same direction without changing direction. So, its momentum remains same. If no external unbalanced force is applied on this object, it will move with the same momentum, same velocity, so same momentum, momentum will not change. To change the momentum, either to decrease or increase, 
वॉट एवर मे बी टू चेंज द मोमेंटम डेफिनेटली द एक्सटर्नल अनबैलेंस फोर्स मस्ट बी अप्लाइड लेट एस एज्यूम दैट द एक्सटर्नल अनबैलेंस फोर्स एफ इज अप्लाइड ऑन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इन द सेम डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन वी आर एज्यूमिंग इट इट मे बी अप्लाइड इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑल्सो बट हियर वी आर एज्यूमिंग इट इज इन द सेम डायरेक्शन द फोर्स एफ इज अप्लाइड due to this force applied on this object in the same direction of motion its velocity changes suppose the object comes to this position after reaching this position due to this force its velocity changes from u to v let us take this as a final velocity this is initial velocity so once the velocity changes but the mass remains same here we can say the final momentum it is final momentum because already i told every moving object possesses momentum here the object is moving in this situation here it is moving with velocity u so its initial momentum mu here its velocity is v so final momentum that is written as p2 that is m into v so due to the application of force application of external unbalanced force the momentum has been changed from mu to mv from p1 to p2 <coughs> so to change the momentum in an object definitely the external unbalanced force is to be applied now the question is the momentum is changed to change the momentum force is applied and that change in momentum is taken place in how much time the change in momentum can be taken place in 1 second it may be taken place in 2 seconds maybe in 3 seconds or 4 seconds in any time with the in the duration of any time the momentum can be changed that change in momentum taken place in the given interval of time simply we can we can say the rate of change in momentum means the change in momentum with respect to time the change in momentum in language i write change in momentum momentum with respect to time with respect to time that means in how much time the momentum has been changed from p1 to p2 that we call a rate of change in momentum if anything is changing with respect to time we call it is a rate of change in momentum that rate of change in momentum can be written as change in momentum means momentum changes from p1 to p2 so change that is p2 minus p1 this change in momentum that is p2 minus p1 final minus initial that's all and then in the given interval of time that is also the change in time at the instant when it is moving with velocity u we take the time is t1 and after some time it become t2 so that means during this interval of time its momentum is changed from mu to mv so the change in time here time written means change in time that is t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 this we call rate of change in momentum rate of change in momentum means change in momentum upon change in time and what does it mean what is it, what is it telling about it tells about how much momentum is changed in how much time that can be written in short in short it can be written the change in momentum final minus initial final momentum minus initial momentum that can be written 